Hello and a very warm welcome back in Champions League action as we preview the Istanbul v Manchester United game as Manchester United travel to Turkey and it will be an earlier kickoff at 5 to 6. 17:55 kickoff live on BT Sport. Bit of an earlier kickoff which is a bit strange but Champions League has been absolutely fantastic. We got off to the perfect start with an away win. And a win at home against Leipzig. But we have a great performance against PSG. We play in the Premier League. Dog shit against Chelsea. We play against Leipzig. Beat them 5-0. We play in the Premier League. Dog shit. We lose to Arsenal. So very hit and miss. Very inconsistent Manchester United side. And But we should be beat. Oh. This is the easiest team in our group, so home and away should be six points against Istanbul. And yeah, not going to say their second name because I can hardly pronounce it, so we'll just call them Istanbul. And fully confident we'll win this game. But then what happens when we go back to the Premier League to play Everton midday, well, half 12, uh, at Goodison? Huge test. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I'm 100% Ole in, but he's under pressure now. A loss against Everton could be suicidal for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's managerial career at Manchester United. We lose to Everton, I think that could be the writing on the wall. But anyway, let's focus on the Champions League. Champions League, we've been fantastic. Six points out of six, it's going to be nine points out of nine. No doubting in my mind that we won't beat Istanbul. Istanbul have lost two games, we've won two games. But I, I'd like to see a lot of different players in the team because I don't feel like some of them players deserve to keep their shirt after that shit show at home against Arsenal. So I would bring in the likes of Dean Henderson. We're expected to win this game. So put some fringe players in who were normally on the bench. Put Henderson in. Put Twan Zabi in. Cavani. Give him a game. Igalo. Cavani or Igalo. Start one of them. Try something different. I mean, we're expected to win this game, so it's not really a big surprise, is it? Even if we start the likes of Cavani, one matter. Players like this. Players who haven't got a lot of minutes under their belt this season. Um yeah, I fully expect nine points out of nine, no doubting in my mind. And that would be fantastic start to the Champions League because nine points out of nine, we'd literally only need one more point from three games. So we'd be through to the next round. But of course, when we get to the knockout phases, what Manchester, like what United is going to turn up, you just don't know. Champions League, we've been fantastic. Premier League, so hit and miss. But yeah, I fully predict we'll win this game. I'm going quite big for this one. I think it could be 4-1 Manchester United. I mean, if we can score five goals against Leipzig, no doubting in my mind that we can't score a load against the worst team in the group. And yeah, fully confident. <laughs> I was fully confident against Arsenal. Bit me on the ass, but you know, there's no doubt. There's no way we lose this game. I mean, if we lose this game, oh my goodness. I mean, it's already quite toxic, so, yeah. Obviously, I'll bring this out Tuesday. Then Wednesday, match reaction will be slightly earlier because of the earlier kickoff, And then we've got a huge game Saturday, midday, against Everton. That's a huge game. Could be make or break for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as a Manchester United manager. I'm fully behind our manager and I wish more people would be behind the smiling Norwegian. But you cannot sit 15th in the table and think that's acceptable for Manchester United because it's not. And the, uh, I'm worried. I'm very, very worried. I'll n I don't think I'll ever be all out. I haven't got to that stage yet. Once I do... There's no turning back, but I haven't yet. I don't think I will, but it's looking like the writing is on the wall. We've got to turn it round. Champions League's been fantastic. Premier League, 
we really do need to just get this game, Champions League game out of the way and focus on the Premier League. Because, of course, we can do amazing in Champions League, but look at our league form. It's disgusting. It's actually embarrassing. Um, but I'm fully confident we'll beat Istanbul. I'm going 4-1. Comment down below. We'd love to know your thoughts. And really, I just want to get this game out of the way. And then we concentrate on Everton. And then we go to a shitty international break, I believe. So, yeah. No. Like, this game is kind of... Um, I just want this game out of the way. And then we get on to Everton. Everton is the big one. Everton is a huge, huge football match. So much lies on that game. Because if we don't win, I dread to think what's going to happen. But yeah, comment down below. Would love to know your thoughts. Seven... Uh, 5.55 kickoff live on BT. Can't wait.